What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with a new video. I had so much fun in my last unboxing video where I unboxed every Cypher album, so I wanted to do another one today. I'm even more excited because I'm unboxing albums of one of my favourite groups of all time, Ace. Today I'm going to be unboxing their latest album, My Girl, My Choice. This is their first release after coming back from the military, so I've been waiting over two years for this. And here is the box. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. It's been sitting on the floor in my house the last three days and it's been absolutely killing me. But I wanted to open it on camera with you guys. How are you gonna open it? I was just thinking that. <laughs> I'm like looking at it, I'm like, uh, one you prepared earlier? I'm scared. Um, so I ordered these off Makestar which is where I usually buy my albums. This was a video call event. I was just like, oh, this was a video call event. This was a video call event, but I didn't really buy a lot of albums. I only bought six. So only. Two, only two sets because there are three versions of the album, which you'll see. I didn't think I was gonna win and I didn't win, surprise, surprise, spoilers. So there should be some nice make star pre-order benefits in here. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> I love this shit. Probably could have reused it. Oh, I just died. <laughs> Imagine that. <coughs> <coughs> no, I went to see Hard yesterday in Melbourne and my throat is shot because I was just screaming so much. There's more international air in here. Should we get this out the way first? Oh, I can see one of the pre-order benefits. It looks so cute. All right, should I pull it out? Pull it out. Pull it out. <laughs> Ta-da! One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they sent me the right amount. I've never had a problem with Make Star, to be fair. And the posters. Maybe we should look at the posters first. This box has like a massive hole in it. What happened in transit? Looks like someone punched it. Maybe it was an ace ante or something. Looks like we have three different posters. So I bought two sets. One is for my lovely friend, Tegan, who is the other number one choice in Melbourne. If you think you're a bigger choice than me, let me know in the comments down below. Oh, they're only little posters. Here is the first one. This one, they've got these like weird eyeball rings on. They've all got different colored eyeball rings. I don't know what these things are, but it's an eyeball ring. Oh. look. <laughs> like a pierced eye, oh, like oh, eyeball. Like they're, they're just really tired and you're just giving them like a lot of shit. Nah, no. eyeball rings. Look what I found, my choice. Cause just a little love is all I need and just another touch so I can breathe. My girl, my choice. So there's one concept, eyeball what a, rings. What a passionate <laughs> do you want me to do it in a more <laughs> thespian manner? <laughs> a little love is all I need. Cute. Oh, the dog's in this one. Don't Shh. Look, puppy. Two members of Ace have dogs, and that's one of them. There's a little grey dog and then a little brown dog. No brown dog in this one. Where? What concept should we call this one? Dog. <laughs> dog concept. Very cute. So the law behind this comeback is like so weird. The only way I've been able to understand this whole concept is through watching the Petflix videos on YouTube. All the members are working, well, they're interns at this company called Petflix. It's like a broadcasting channel where they make TV shows and the TV show that they wanna make is about idols and they decide they want to get Ace on. So they're making like a TV show about Ace, playing different people, but also themselves. So it's very, very confusing. Everyone's like, what the fuck is Petflix? But it's slowly starting to make sense to me now. It makes no sense. <laughs> this one is very office. Just <laughs> hugging a keyboard. Yeah, that's how I feel about my job. <laughs> is that you? Yeah. Well, that's my bias. June is my bias. As you will know, if you have watched my previous video, best photo cards bias edition. <laughs> Very cute posters. Which one is my favorite? Let's see. 
Probably this one, to be honest, because they're smiling and they look happy. What does conitus mean? Search for my lost conitus all day. Conitus? Con... What does this one say? Wonder in confusion. Ah, oh, that's me! Innate inclination of a thing to continue to exist and enhance itself. Should I get the knife out again or should I just chaotically... Oh. <laughs> the chaos is already started. The chaos! Ah. There should be two sets here. Wait, no, not two sets. A set and then two extra ones. Yeah, there we go. This is another really annoying thing about versions and sets and numbers of members. In Ace, at the moment, there's four of the members. There's actually five members of Ace, but Chan did not participate in this because he just returned from military last. And yeah, they didn't include him in this comeback, which people were kind of disappointed about. But my kind of theory on it is that they wanted to kind of jump on the publicity of Dongan right now because he's participating in a survival show. Build up a vocal competition show. It seems like he is doing very well in that show and might actually end up in the final group. So I think they kind of wanted to put this comeback out while he was getting that publicity to really make some sales, put Ace out there. And then maybe if he gets into that group, they'll bring Chan back into Ace and promote as four again, which means unfortunately we might have to wait a very long time for OT5 comeback, but it will happen. Because there's only four members promoting right now and there's three versions of the album, if you were to buy two sets like I did, you get six albums and six pre-order benefits. So it means that you'll get a whole set of the four members and then just two other random extra ones. But even if you just bought one of each, you don't get all the members. 12, right, is the least that you could buy so that you could get full sets of the pre-order benefits. Does that make sense? Like four times three? What the fuck? Yeah, they do this all the time though. It's so frustrating. <laughs> These are those like, um, those shiny ones. They've got this like holographic effect, which I actually, it's not my favorite thing, but they are kind of cool looking. On the back, you've just got Ace, My Girl, My Choice, and Make Star at the bottom there. So this one is Dongan looking cute. I don't know what the theme for this photo card was. There wasn't really a theme, it was just cute, <laughs> which is what's happened here. And here we have Jun, my bias. I love his hair in this. It's kind of like that messy, long look and winking. I love winking. <laughs> we know we love winking. No, not again. <laughs> winking. Very, very cute. And here we have King Wow doing a little heart, little cheek heart. This little glasses on. He's looking so healthy and happy since coming back from the military. Love to see it. And BK. Oh my God, he's got his tongue stuck out. Rude. And a little peace sign. Yeah, so no particular theme to these. Sometimes pre-order benefits have a theme, but this just seems to be, just take a cute photo and Choice will love it. And we do. And then the other extra ones I got were another one of these two members. I got distracted when you said cheek heart there, maybe think it's like an Amanda Bynes. Oh, like the makeup that she's got now. <laughs> Bless her. Bless her cotton socks. I was trying to figure out which way to open these, but the back of different versions is on each side. Let's just slide them out and see what happens. Uh oh. <laughs> Actually, that was kind of aesthetic. If the other one had slid out as well, that would have been good. <laughs> Let's find one of each version. What the fuck? Why can I not work this out? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. One set. So I think the reason that I was finding it difficult to work out what the back was is because both sides have a barcode. I think this is a fake barcode, and then this is the real barcode. So you've never read a book before? Do books, books have barcodes on the front? The books open a certain way. No, like they- books. <laughs> in different countries, they open different ways. Because some countries read the books from that way, and some people read them from that way. That's true, yeah. I don't know. So you got them all backwards? Well, they're actually in the wrong order right now. They're supposed to be DVDs, I think, and they're like, different seasons. So each version is a season of the Petflix show. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it's really convoluted, this concept. So let's put it in the right order. UHD, 4K, 60 FPS, Petflix only ultra high definition. Oh, that's what UHD stands for. <laughs> and a little paw print, cute. So the covers here 
I was gonna say they're the same as the posters, but they're not. Same concepts, obviously, different photos. We've got eyeball ring, dog, and what do we call this one? <laughs> Capitalism concept. There's a lot going on here. There's so much writing. Los Conatus again. Got their debut date on here, 23rd of May, 2017. That's like an actual sticker, I think. Oh my God, these are like actual stickers. Well, we'll see once we get the plastic off. It's supposed to look like a DVD with like the cast on the back with all the members. There's just a lot of writing on here. It's like a lot to take in, to be honest with you. This is cute. Like little post-its with little paw prints on them. I love that, that's super cute. Let's try this trick that never works when I do it on camera. Yep. Yeah, there we go. It never works, it's worked both times you've tried it. Well, I did have to do it a couple of times then. Yeah, these are actual stickers. That's spick. Looks like a slide out situation. Little outer sleeve. Oh, that's better. Now there's no writing on it. <laughs> Turns out I don't like to read. The back, there we go, Conatus again. We've learned something today, everyone. Um, yeah. I already forgot. Yeah, I forgot what it meant too. Something that's being that will be no matter what or something. <laughs> You you could you do you you want. They're a little bit bent, actually. You can see all the benefits that are in there, bulging it out. Yeah, it is bulging out a little bit. But that's okay. We know where they are, so now we can just <laughs> every time. There we go. Hopefully, there's nothing else hiding. No, nothing hiding. We'll have a little, ooh. Do you think they like got in trouble? Not in trouble, but like, can you just use Petflix like, and use the same font as Netflix? Like it looks like Netflix. Like, have you seen it? I assume they're not like use the same font, but it's probably just a similar font. A similar font. Oh, it's just so nice to see them together again. Some of them. It is kind of sad that Chan wasn't involved, but he has been a part of like the promotions. He's done a lot of um, videos with them on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. So he has been present, which has been really, really nice. What is this, Safari? So this is like they're at work, but I don't, I don't understand the law. Oh, see all this, it just looks like Netflix. <laughs> I think you get in trouble at work if you just started putting all the files in your mouth. Gosh, he's so fucking fucked. What the hell? How would you just look like that in your office? Yep. These are very normal poses to do in the office. <laughs> Just like lying on the ground. Falling down? No, just lying seductively on the office ground. Going straight yep. to HR. Dick out in the office. There's a little puppy. Puppy, puppy. Oh. It's so surreal. Look, there's the other dog that I was telling you about. It's so cute. Which one do you like better? You'll get cancelled if you choose one. I do really like this one. I think I'm, I'm probably gonna like this concept more than the others, which is a bit sad because I just opened it first. All right, so here we go, this is cool. They've got like a little profile as if they were an employee of Petflix. Oh, it's written in English. Oh, it's supposed to be like their CV. CV stands for Cutilliculum Vitae. Curriculum? Personal skill going crazy. Heart. Interesting. So I assume they'll all have their little, pro there we go. Oh, that one's got like no writing on it. INFP, the same MBTI as me. Any other INFPs out there? Down in the comments below. Apparently everyone annoys the shit out of us, so. Another INFP. Wow. Career goals, piece of puppies. The piece of puppies, not like a piece of puppies. Work experience. <laughs> Raised a puppy, raised a fish. <laughs> These profiles, they go with um, like the characters that they're playing in the YouTube videos. So it's not actually like of them, it's of their character. Very confusing. What? I don't want to piss on your parade, but it's not that fucking confusing. <laughs> Maybe. <I'll> <laughs> <laughs> Other info, nothing, I'm the best. <laughs> LDH. What does that mean? 
Oh, this <laughs> is their initials. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Oh, I love the dogs. I reckon they just did this concept so that they could have their dogs in the fucking photos and take them to work every day. Oh, I really love all these office outfits. <laughs> did he draw that? Oh. I really want to just look at these for ages. Dream job scientist. I'm still not sure about these eyeball rings. And then at the end, just the lyrics. Petflix, premium pet contents. Oh, you can make your own little Petflix um, profile on here. It's kind of cool. You could become an intern yourself. But I'm just wondering because there's only one member. Oh, it's Chan. Okay. <laughs> so they've included him in the back of the album. I just like momentarily forgot that he wasn't a part of this comeback because I just think of them as five all the time. But yeah, they've actually included him in the back of the album, which is so cool. Oh my God, I love that. Career goals make all the puppies smile. Oh. CD just has the office on it. Done, love it, obsessed. I could look at that for hours and I will later. So I have purposely avoided all spoilers for this. So I don't even know what form the inclusions take. So this is super, super exciting. Let's get into it. I'm just gonna start like turning things over, I guess, as they come. So, okay. We have a dress up doll type inclusion where I guess you can um, cut out the member and then cut out these different clothes and like put them on <laughs> that's so random so we got Bianquan. i guess there's one for every member because we've got four of these here so let's have a look at all of them we've got wow yeah so i guess they've got a no jacket outfit and then a jacket outfit that you can put them in and they've also got these little speech bubbles where you can i guess write something that you want them to say and there's a little indicator here saying to put glue there. And then I guess you glue that to the back. Um, and then they can be saying something that you want them to say. <laughs> like, I love you, Kate, or something bullshit like that. Um, and then we have Dongen and Jun. I mean, these are kind of cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I do like them. It's like those old school, like I used to play with these when I was a kid, you know, like, you get all those um, cardboard clothes and then you just hook them over the little characters and you could like put different outfits on them. Did you ever do anything like that? Uh, no. Is it perforated or you got to cut it with scissors? No, you got to like cut it with scissors. Rude. It's kind of nice that you get all the members so you don't have to like, you know. Buy tall versions. Yeah. <laughs> all right, looks like we've got a few like postcards or something here. All right, what's this? Find the secret message. Stick the sticker to the right position find out the secret message. What? But there's no stickers here. Are they supposed to be stickers? I feel like this might be it. Yeah, okay. Are these stickers? What the fuck is going on here? Stick the sticker to the right position, find out the secret message. These aren't even stickers. Maybe the whole thing is a sticker? And they just forgot to perforate it? What the fuck? I don't get it. Cut the out as well. I guess. That seems dog. Because they've got the sticker, like the pictures there. Those aren't stickers. These are the stickers. But it's not perforated. And then you're supposed to stick them on there to find the secret message. Hint Conatus. Conatus is the hint. Well, this key's coming back to it. Should we do it and see? I want to do it. I need to know the Conatus. <laughs> Scissors acquired. It's gonna take forever. I think we probably don't need to cut it out like exact, do we? Or maybe that's why. Maybe the secret message won't work if it's not exact. This is really annoying. Hopefully there's no other pieces to that puzzle in the next part. 
All right, let's have a look at the next inclusion. Just a cute um, postcard here with all the members holding up their little ID tags and little messages on the back there. Super cute. I wanna know what the photo looks like that they're taking that selfie. I'm sure that's a very, very cute selfie. And let's go and look at the next thing. Hey, this looks like it's a random inclusion. This is probably our first random inclusion and we got my bias. So just a little um, four picture print type thing here. Him looking very dapper in a suit and playing with his tie for some reason. Nothing on the back there. I think the photo cards are like turned. Oh no, it's okay, can't see them. And more stickers. Are these ones perforated? These ones are perforated. Why are those ones not perforated? <laughs> um, these ones are just, yeah, names of the members. Are they? And then, yeah, just um, the names of the songs as well. These are really nice. I like these. The highlight. Oh, it's got a giveaway on the back. Why do they do this? This one says Ace, so I'm assuming it's going to be like a group photo card. And this one says Wow, so I'm assuming it's going to be Wow. Oh, oh my God, is this what I was just saying before? Like, is that the selfie that they're taking in that postcard? Because if so, that is pretty cool. I love that. And we got Wow. What a surprise. I really love this. He looks very, very cute. Nice little smile there. I like the back of these too. They look really nice. A little cherub. In the music video, they all had angel wings on and they were getting like hoisted up by, uh, you know, like wires to make it look like you're flying. It was just hilarious. And they were just like falling all over each other, um, falling all over themselves. And yeah, everyone was making jokes. That was their ending fairies, like they're supposed to do on stage, but just a disaster ending fairy. Um, really made the end of the video very enjoyable. How are you going with those stickers, mate? So that was season one. Let's move on to season two. Yes, season two. This one we've named the dog version. I do like this cover. They look very, very happy. I really love the plaid. Again, lots and lots of writing here. The back, <laughs> this is cool. Like they're watching a horror movie or something like that. <gasps> Set to be a hero. That's like their little um, catchphrase that they do in their greeting. Let's open it from the back this time. <laughs> oh God. Not trying to be sexual. Going in from the back. Going in from the back. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Would you? And again, just the same cover, but without all the confusing writing. I'm getting very confused very easily today. It is 37 degrees. And in these lights, it feels like it is 47 degrees. All right, let's go for the inclusions. Get those out. Oh, maybe we've got some more dress up. Love it. Okay, let's see how different these photo books are because I'm not sure how different they are. Oh, I just love the puppies. Jun smile is seriously one of my favorite things in K-pop. I love his little teeth. He's got like little fangies and I just think it's adorable. Whoa, I actually can't. Oh my God. Yeah, so we just have more photos from this concept up the front. And then I think the back is, yeah, okay. So the back of the photo book is the same. Yeah, and then just up front, we have more photos from the concept that's shown on the front. So they're actually not super different, um, especially because between the different concepts of the photo books, they're not like very, very different, but that's okay. These photos are really great. This makeup is crazy, I love it. I love it when they put heaps of like blush and kind of pink red under the eyes. And I also like it when they eat. <laughs> puppy! Every time I see the puppy, I'm just gonna scream. Oh my God. Yeah, look, same here. The red, oh actually, I think that might be the tint from the, the sunglasses. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. Shorts. They should get back in the hot pants again, I reckon. That was a vibe. Whoa, slay. <laughs> I feel like they're using these things in this office that like they've never used them before. Yeah, okay, so yeah, they are very, very similar, these photo books, but 
We don't really need to look at the rest of this then. Let's see if Chan is at the back again. There he is. I really love that. That's a really nice detail. And then, yeah, the disc is just the set without them in it. Wonder and confusion. Seriously, it's my life. Inclusions. All right, let's see if we've got some more dress ups here. We sure do. Just this time in this concept's outfits. These shoes are kind of a vibe. I love those little platform sneaker action. And yeah, you can put the jacket on them and a little speech bubble. So let's have a look at the other members. I really love this outfit. Like all the little bows on the pants and little cavet, cavet, cavat, cavat. Is a cavat a little scarf? Cravat. Oh, cravat. <laughs> yep, cravat. I actually don't even think that's a cravat, but that's the only word I can think of to describe that. Uh, that's a pose. And there you go. More dress ups. These are cute, but like, is anyone actually doing these? Your next job is to make all of these and dress them up. Fuck off. <laughs> and, oh God. <laughs> it's another one and it's different. Is it? Yeah, it's different. Maybe this one is, surely that's a mistake that they haven't like perforated that, right? Because it's an office concept. Maybe they just keep you busy work to do. <laughs> So we've got another secret message thing here. Did you finish the other one? So this is the first one from uh, the season one. Josh has put that together for us and the secret letter is I. So let's just see if we can work this one because I'm assuming it's probably going to make a message. I think I know what it is already. I think this one is going to be a heart and then the last one's going to be a you. I heart you, I reckon. I think that makes a heart like that. There we go, we don't have to do the second one and we don't have to do the third one. I guess that's kind of cute. Gives you something to do, huh? Another postcard, it looks like. Oh, I like this one better than the other one. They had to do so much acting in this comeback. The music video was very much like concept driven. There wasn't really a whole lot of, um, there was choreo in it, but yeah, they were definitely playing characters. So they're really showing that side of themselves, which I think is really fun. Acting in the photos as well. Cute postcard. This is gonna be a, oh, here we go. Yeah, so we've got the four, um, Polaroid photo type things. Okay, I love lollipop photos. They are one of my favorites. And here we have Dongan four cut photo with a lollipop. Slay, love it. And these will be the stickers, which are probably the same as the other ones. No, they're not. Okay, that's cool. A lot of the time, different versions of the same album will have very similar or the same stickers. So this is kind of cool, they're different. Initials and little like post-it notes with their names on. This one's perforated? Yes, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna check every time now. Why do they put their names on the back? So one of them is gonna be the group photo card and one of them is gonna be the solo. So let's see. Here we go, the solo one. You got Dongyun. We are pulling a lot of him, which is good. Everyone is loving him right now. I love all the members of Ace. Obviously I do have a bias, but I am happy to pull whoever because I love them all. And the group photo card. Oh, it's not a group photo card, okay. <laughs> And we got, wow, I love these plaid outfits. They are the best. I honestly thought they were gonna have a solo and a group for all the albums, but I'm kind of happy that this one has two solo ones. Let's we'll see what the third one has. So that was season two. And let's move into the last version, season three. This cover is a little bit less for my eyeballs <laughs> because there's not so much like background set um, and all the writing and them. So it's a little less chaotic for my brain. I don't know what it was about those other covers. They're just a bit crazy. Look what I found, my choice. Cute. They all have their eyes closed. Interesting choice, choice. <laughs> Compact disc, digital audio. Maybe we can open this one from the side. This is gonna work. No, I'm just gonna get like, <laughs> like a burn on my fucking here we go, we can open it here. Now we've opened them all in a different way. Isn't that exciting, everyone? Show me these skills. This is where you've got skills. <laughs> here we go. See, this is nice and simple, I like it. Looks like we've got more dress ups. Are we excited? No. <laughs> 
Again, I think only the front part of this photo book is gonna be different, so we'll have a look. <laughs> Such random props. Alien space helmet. Oops, I just really bent that then. Car. Bits of plastic. And the eyeball rings. Does anyone else have a problem with these eyeball rings? Is it just me? <laughs> I just find them a bit creepy. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, all the shoes they wear in this comeback is such a vibe. All these like platform sneakers. Obsessed. Here we go. Here's what I was talking about earlier with the, the angel wings. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That reminds me of the Prodigy, like a little ant snap bracelet. Wear that to the rave. Ah, these are some of my favorite photos actually of him from this comeback. The blue contacts really suit him. He, he wears them quite a bit in the past as well. I think they all have blue contacts in, in these photos. But I'm fine with that. Yeah, well, I think it, they really suit him a lot. BK, I think, doesn't suit them as much as the others, but, oh, a little lip bite there. Oh. Yeah, they've given him like really bright blue ones. They just don't suit him, but that's okay. I love the freckles. Track list. Was this here before in the other versions? I think we're back to the repeat of the last photo book. See, that's pretty crazy. Like, how much of it is repeat? Three quarters? Three quarters? Yep. Usually it's like half, half, but yeah, that is quite unusual. But the good thing is like, these are actually all like really great quality photos. And there's a few different things in here. It's not like it's all the same shit. And there's all those profile pages and like the little drawings of like what, you know, their dream, their dream career was when they were a kid and so like the rest of it is is nice but yeah to only have like a quarter of an album of new photos is it's kind of unusual oh I like this CD this is my favorite CD this little drawings by all the members adorable this one is way nicer I guess because what would they have put because the other discs had um like the set background they what would they do just make it completely green <laughs> more dress ups Lego oh <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> um, so we've got a little behind shot there and um, angel wings that you can put on. So that's a bit different. The other ones were just putting um, suit jackets on. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> These are so funny. I love it. Look. <laughs> because you're supposed to cut out the wings and put the wings on their back. So it's just like, ah, shot. <laughs> I love so it. you go to somebody's house and they've got those stands where they haven't put their angel wings on? I'd be like, nice. <laughs> Let's go for the secret message. <laughs> Great. No, it's fine. So I think this is gonna be a you. Yep. I'm confident. I am so confident this is, I love you. Josh, do some, do some editing magic. <laughs> oh, we didn't check if these stickers were perforated. Nope. Let's go for the postcard. <laughs> it's probably my least favorite one, but maybe it's because of the rings. And they look sad. Oh yeah, they ripped a bunch of people's eyes out. <laughs> and the four cut is Junhee, my favorite. Yay. Okay, that means we've gotten two of his little four cut photo things, which is fun. We haven't gotten any of his photo cards yet, so hopefully this album, we can get it. Maybe if we rub. This worked last time. We're gonna rub. We'll get the stickers first. Aw, I like these little animated characters, these little versions of them. That's really cute. We are ace. Oh, okay, I've already just been spoiled. Why did I do that? But look, we did it. Whoops, sorry about punching you. But the rubbing helped. It's all about the rubbing. <laughs> It's all about the rubbing, Kate Tildesley 2024. <laughs> but unfortunately it is the ring version, the eyeball ring version, but at least you can't see the eyeballs. Thank you, Jun, love that. Um, I'm really happy we got one of his photo cards. That's great. And it looks like this one is a group. Oh, I love that. 
Yeah, see, that's what this postcard should have been. They're more smiling like that instead. But I do really love this group one. So that's so random that two of the versions had group photo cards and then one of them just didn't. We're done. That's all three versions. Here are all my photo card pulls from Ace's new album, My Girl, My Choice. We have our Make Star pre-order benefits here and our album photo cards with the two group ones on the end. Very happy with all of these. I really love the concepts. I think they look super, super cute and I'm just so happy to have them back again. And I cannot wait for OT5 comeback. Let's manifest it, people. So that was my unboxing of Ace's brand new album, My Girl, My Choice. Thank you so much for joining me. I really love doing unboxings. So if you enjoy them too, please give this video a like, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like me to unbox in the comments down below. Let me know which album version was your favorite, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> that actually went right in my face. Oh yeah. I just really wanted to look inside. I'll get in the box. Fuck me. Thanks. I'm just creating drama for yeah. myself now. Why not? Um, if they're gonna do it anyway, you may as well. <laughs> just lean into it. <laughs> <laughs> Where should I put them? Boop. Can't believe I took them out the sleeves on camera. Anything for the fans. <laughs> Love my fans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like the villain of the K-pop community. Just <laughs> cancelled. That's fun. Yeah, because I'm actually a really nice person. Round the round and Really, really nice. Yeah, because I'm a fucking idiot. I just learned that today. Off TikTok. Well, I guess so. That that um office bro bravado. Tits up for the boys. Can't breathe. Ugh. Cause just a love is all I need. So much shit. Don't put that in the uh the aftercuts. We'll see.